together. What? what question? Best link strategy. Let's talk about it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Lena, Nate. B-L-S. Best link strategy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Best link strategies. Tell us about best link strategies B-L-S. and what is it? Okay. I'll let, you, I'll let you lead it. Sure. Best link strategy. So it, we are a cybersecurity government mm-hmm. contractor. Y'all getting to the money? I seen the X5 outside. Say that again? Hmm? Say that again? Mm-hmm. I said y'all getting to the money? I seen the X5 oh, outside. No, I mean. <laughs> Broke out on the fear of gods. Okay. Yeah, that's the first thing. I was about to stop the interview for the fear of gods. But we are um, a cyber firm. We contract with the government, state, lo- uh, state mm-hmm. officials, uh, state entities, commercial entities. Right. Um, we also have a cybersecurity training school. Sweet, sweet. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, we take regular folks, average jobs, whatever, any walk of life, and we get them trained, certified, and then we help them find jobs. And Very dope. Holistically. Because people Holistic. don't need yeah. to go to school for something. They, they can just get the certs. They Love. don't. It's, That's the misconception. Yeah, yeah, talk about it. Talk about it. It's really the certs and the know-how. Mm-hmm. Because like you can have a cert, but don't know shit. Yeah. Don't know anything. <laughs> so we, we've met lots of those. Yeah, so we've met people like you know, because think about it. Even going to college, you can have a college degree and not know anything. Facts, mm-hmm. facts. Um, mm-hmm. But you have to have like the industry skill set, whatever your discipline is, in order to be successful. Right. But that's what we do. So in that space of the business, we have like a whole <laughs> holistic view. So not only that you get the certification, you actually learn how to do this stuff. You know how to walk and speak as a cybersecurity professional. So we've had people from um, nanny, nanny matchmakers. That's like the biggest one. People, a nanny matchmaker. Yeah, never heard of it. Before. Right, I've heard of that. Nanny matchmakers. People who lost their job during the, uh, during the pandemic. A lot of school teachers. Yeah, a lot because, of school teachers. Yeah, because there's something called like the um, the uh, the Great Resignation. Yeah, resignation, yeah. Resignation. yeah everybody's leaving their job. Yeah. You know, because they burnt out. And then people are seeing that I can make this money in this tech space and even doing it from home or yeah. anywhere. Yeah. So we seen p- teachers that were like, man, it would have taken me 35 years to get what I'm getting out the gate in cybersecurity. Mm-hmm. 35 years in the school system. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Lying. By the time they would get there, they'd be like sep- almost 70 years old. That shit is sad. And they're getting it like out the gate. Yep. Entry level, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Wow!" But like, I think Lena and I, one of our biggest things with like that part of the space is just trying to put more minorities in that space. Right. Very dope. Right. And like women and people of color, because like you know, I've, we're swamp. There's such a lack yeah. of representation. Mm-hmm. Super lack. And but a lot of us too, we get so intimidated by the word cybersecurity. It sounds like. Oh my God! I got to be Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. I like break down like this whole type of machine. A hacker, and there's jobs in cybersecurity. <laughs> it's like no technical stuff. It's just mm-hmm. policy, mm-hmm. period. And to get people in that space, and then we when they learn, you know, through our through our program, and they're like, "Wow, yo, this is like, I do cybersecurity every day. Didn't even know it. Every day I'm using cybersecurity. Like I get a text message to my phone to get into my login. Yeah, two step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multi factor. Like that's cybersecurity or I, I um, install an update on my phone. It's called a patch. Mm-hmm. But like, I didn't know what the term was, but I do it every day. Yep. So um, I think that's like a beautiful thing that we we able to see, and especially a lot of women um, get into those spaces. And I think, you know what? <clears throat> back to, it kind of, it's kind of rev- relevant back to the first question we had about red flags mm-hmm. and like uh, dating <clears throat> up and dating down. And I think the beautiful thing that we see more people in this space in cybersecurity, because traditionally is, I don't know if you guys from here, I know Elliot is, from anybody here. from 757? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna ask you this. If you don't go to college or military or probably like healthcare, what's the biggest come up? Shipyard. shipyard. Right. It's a shipyard. Yeah. But the majority of the jobs in the shipyard are working from the neck down, mm-hmm. manual labor. Yeah. So like you can make money in the shipyard, but the quality of life can suck because you're working like all the time. And, and it's physical. You, and it's physical. Right. Yeah. So traditionally, you know, before we was in the techn- technological space, that a lot of guys would do that work. And then the women would take a lot of the service jobs, you know, that don't pay as much. But now you have women in spaces, they can make the same or more, but working from the neck up, mm-hmm. being comfortable, and they're like onesie. Mm-hmm. You know what onesies do? At home. Yes, they do. Yeah, one. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. T- I, I got, and yeah all. pajamas. I'm like onesies for babies, but no, <laughs> but like no, like in their onesies or whatever, chilling at home on their on their PC, mm-hmm. and but they can make more the same amount of money, but with less stress and a better quality of life. So that's good. Now we have people like more so in those spaces and being educated in that, in that light, and especially women of color. So like it's just, it's just pretty dope. Like okay, full so circle. What? What inspired y'all to start this? Because I ain't going to lie to you. I worked with both of y'all before in the past. Yeah. Right. And y'all vanished and went on the, <laughs> went on the uh, like, and I then like you just career. popped up with Best Link Strategies. Like, when did when did the culmination start as far as y'all so, trying to do this? Best Link was never something that I ever thought I would even do, just let alone being in tech. Mm-hmm. wasn't something I thought I would do. Because prior Same. to tech, I was in healthcare. I was in dentistry, as a matter of fact, for like 12 years. So... When I cross over into tech, the, the things that we're talking about as far as seeing not um, seeing lack of representation when I was working in D.C., I, I guess I'm apparently racially ambiguous. So people don't think that I'm black. I'm half mm. black and Korean. Okay. Everybody thinks I'm flat out Asian or just whatever. And so just hearing white people, white men around me in positions of power that work around me mm. just completely blatantly dropping the N-bomb at work, mm. saying all types of crazy shit around me. And I'm just like, wow, like this is really happening in corporate America right now. This is, this is ridiculous. So fast forward, I'm moving back down to this area and, you know, I'm working with these these two and I knew a a lot of friends of mine that kind of started getting in the contracting space, Mm -hmm. doing what I do. And I would always wonder, like, how are you like here on this job and you got your business? They're like, I'm my own LLC working, Mm -hmm. working the contract. So I kind of just kind of put my head together after I left the contract I was working with these guys on. And I literally just sat down and I said, I need to do more for what I want in life for my son. Mm -hmm. I'm a single parent. And so best link, the B actually stands for my son's first name, which is Byron. And the L actually stands for my name. Um, So we're creating legacies over here. So best link came to fruition October 28th, 2019 in my office sitting upstairs. Shout out anniversary coming up. Hey, got a couple (laughs) couple weeks. And I knew I wanted to do government contracting, but just didn't really know everything about my roadmap. Mm -hmm. And then Nate and I still stayed in contact after I left the contract I was working with them. And I told him what happened, and he was like, yo, like, I'm trying to do this with you. Yeah. So like, let's get a logo, and that's kind of how it all kind of went about. I ain't Very gonna lie, y'all moving real quick. How, Look, how we does, don't play games. Man. How does being uh, opposite sex business partners, how does, that, how does that dynamic work for you guys? I actually find our work easy. dynamic like amazing. It's very mm-hmm. easy. He's very yin yang. Like things that I think mm-hmm. about, That's very he's dope. already thought about it or already in the same wavelength. It's like Professor X. Like it's we literally like, how are did thinking you know the same I literally thing. about to do that. Yeah. Fire. So like just being in sync. And I think cause even with that, um, cause I'm married. Right. And it's like I think the most important piece is Hold up, time out. So you married. Yes. But you work with her. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah, you but you but y'all awesome. good though. She it won't like a problem. Oh, he was like, no, no, nah, nah, it's work, girl. We working. It has never. never been a problem with Ever. Her. Just making sure. And Ever. I think the biggest thing is like your spouse has to have a relationship with your business partner. For sure. Mm-hmm. Because like your business partner is like an extension of family. Yep. Okay. And it's like, yep. yeah, so imagine if like <laughs> he is so mad. <laughs> <laughs> right now. That's a rule, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Continue, Nick. Okay. I'm sorry. And I know. I'm sorry. No, because y'all like y'all like yo. I knew I read the rules, but this nigga just got up. <laughs> <laughs> just but ran no. out. Yeah, but sorry. you have to be able to like have a relationship with your your spouse and your business partner. Right. Have a relationship together because mm-hmm. it's real like weird if your business partner. And your spouse never can your family just that, in general. Yeah, because yeah. it is it like we're be on the weird. phone, literally texting sometimes until like ten o'clock at night. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? And yeah. there has to be that level of respect, even on like, oop, I just hit your mark on accident. Good. Even with me being his partner and being female, I'm like I have a partner, I have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, it's I also think it also has to do with communication mm-hmm. independently. Like, yes, right. we're business partners, but I'm not responsible for what he has at home. You yeah. know what I mean? And vice right. versa. Mm-hmm. So it's my job to make my partner comfortable, letting them know what I got going on, and communication mm-hmm. is complete key. And so luckily with both of us, and I think what really helped a lot too was we actually worked together. So right, we had that comfortability to, too, yeah. actually working on contracts. And then, I mean, it's like family. Really. Yeah, same. It's, it's, it's so easy. So y'all keep, <laughs> y'all keep it close. Yeah. That's how, I mean, that's, I, I feel like that's probably the best way to create that familiarity with your partners. Because right. it's not like a, I feel like half the time it's our imaginations. Especially like say y'all like have like a meeting or something yeah. and then it just goes over and y'all like get inspired and now y'all are ten thirty in a in a yeah. in a boardroom, whatever, doing whatever. 
and your partner's mm-hmm. like, the fuck going? You know what I'm saying? Well, probably like, like girl, with, come on. Without well, that, come on down. Girl. Right. Without that familiarity, <laughs> your imagination just gonna exactly. go crazy. Exactly. Yeah. So think, that's and I, that's big. And I think so. So I tag. Our tagline is inspired by passion, proven by action. Mm-hmm. So it's like we're about that action. So it's like I can see like we spending all this time trying to get stuff off the ground and like nothing ever happened. Right. Yeah. Like no product, nothing's being developed. Yeah. But like you know, our significant others like yo, they actually doing it. Like yeah. I they see, see this, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's you know. And then as the times like my wife just saw me like really, really like just grinding and working. Then like vice versa. She's a she's a product. Yeah, she is. My wife went through she our went program. Oh, dope. Mm-hmm. Very she, dope. she was a school counselor for seven years. Yep. Very dope. And now she's over here killing she said, it. Hey, Ray. She said, F those SOLs. <laughs> I ain't doing SOLs no more. <laughs> you know? We so, F them kids. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah. <laughs> CPS. But not like, um, yeah, I crazy. think you have to be able to have a relationship like, you know, with the family. Because like, um, you know, I have a good relationship with her son. They have a relationship with my, uh, my our daughters, and it's like, you know, you have to know them on that. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. It's still, it's like family. Yeah, too, it really, yeah. it really yeah. is. And I think the very last thing too, it boils down to like the the securities that you just have. Yeah, like sure. you right. know your mate, then like you know each other. It's like it's just a security exactly. part. Like people who have like the insecurities. I think <clears throat> the ins- if insecurities were there, it would be difficult. Mm-hmm. It would. A, it would. One hundred percent. As people of color, and you mm-hmm. as a mm-hmm. woman of color right. in the space, what are some of the challenges that you guys seen for people that want to get into tech, want to get into cybersecurity, anything like that? Mine is people not actually giving people of color a chance, yep. thinking that we're not capable. Because yep. just firsthand actually witnessing and seeing that and hearing conversations, because mm-hmm. I've been fortunate enough to being a hiring manager as well, mm-hmm. and being able to talk to other hiring managers and just off the jump, they deny someone just because you got dreads in your hair yeah. or you got this without even knowing that person has the aptitude to complete this job and mm-hmm. probably be excellent at mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Better than you. You know what I mean? And better than you, exactly. <laughs> so mm-hmm. that's one of the biggest things that I, I know that I've kind of seen. What about you, bro? Yeah. Um, just having that like connotation mm-hmm. that but a lot of that sometimes is, is self-inflicted too and self-sabotage which sucks because i feel like a lot of us sometimes like man am i good enough mm. you know am i good enough to be in this space but you inculcate that to other people exactly. yeah. because we talked about earlier energy is everything yeah. So it's like you come in the you come in the gate and you're like, man, I don't feel like I'm good enough. So then people are gonna see that, they, and they can smell that you. that aura All off of day. you, and then they'll play on it. Especially uh, the tech world, yeah, they, they will eat it. you up if they'll they see that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like they will eat you, you up. don't look confident and all that. Or like, what do you know? What do you know? Whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, you literally couldn't know more than them and be capable of doing it. But it's like you already beating yourself down. But that's another problem that we have in this in, in yeah. this space because it's like. We try to tell people, man, you can do cybersecurity. And, you know, a lot of us like, man, it just sounds so intimidating. Yeah. Or it's a lot of math. It's no math. Mm. <laughs> it's cybersecurity. None. It's like None. no math. Dispel some of those things that people, those generalities that people have for it, like like there's no math. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell, tell them. No math involved. You do not need to have a college degree. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, <laughs> literally. Uh, but, uh, Chris and I, yo. oh, my God, we still talk about that. So, like. We work with GEDs, like people who have yeah. GEDs on our contract making like 200000 Yeah. So Chris, like, oh, oh, it's real. Yeah. Drop yeah. Off for yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were telling about that spreadsheet, bro. So like, yeah, Chris and I, I still get PTSD from it. But like, uh, Chris and I work on a contract together. Um, and we're just sitting there. And it was a spreadsheet that had like all of the employees, like, you know, it's like a, like a recall sheet, recall okay. sheet, whatever. It has like your phone number, you know, gotta get in contact with yeah, my yeah. coworkers and stuff. Then it had like credentials mm-hmm. because a part of like government contracting, you have to have a certain amount of employees that have certain credentials to help you get the contract. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can like justify why these body of people, like why we should be here. Mm-hmm. So you will see like degrees <clears throat> and stuff. Common denominator, Chris and I noticed, all the black people in the contract had degrees. Mm-hmm. The majority of the white people in the contract had high school diplomas or GEDs and a cert, yet making more bread. Wow. Yeah. And we were just like, yo, this is crazy. And it's not even that race always play a significant factor in that piece. It's just the lack of not knowing. That's what I was going to say. It's mm. the lack of knowledge. Yeah. And it's a lot of, like you said, we, I've seen 
our own people, lim like you said, limit ourselves. Like you don't think that you have the ability to be in that mm -hmm. space. So you don't think you have the ability to speak up and say something. Like closed mouths literally do not, not get, fed. get fed. You know what I mean? And I feel like honestly what's helped me be successful is the fact that I literally can see a window of opportunity. If you just give me that crack, That's I it. literally will bust that entire window down because I'm going to ask the right questions. I'm going to see and laser focus on who is the impor important person in that room. Why is that person important? Why do I need to be next to that person? So mm -hmm. you have to kind of be able to think and move in a way where you literally have no regrets. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't operate in that space. And I feel like once people start operating a space of, I'm tired of having a lackluster life. Yeah. I'm tired mm -hmm. of BS. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of like feeling home. like I'm running paycheck <laughs> after paycheck. <laughs> exactly. You ain't doing nothing. Exactly. Get your ass up. Paycheck what the best thing to say? You know? Get your certification. We gonna get you hey, right. Yo, let's shoot the commercial. I'll be the nigga with my ass. That's Put that hat on the back. Yeah, this nigga be cow shit. <laughs> get your ass up right now. Go to best thing to say. Get the Why are you still here? Your life. Why are you watching my show? Hey, Make sure you hit subscribe right. and change your life. I love it. That's how the ECP. I, I love it. I love it. All right, let me ask y'all a question. Yeah. So he got a round of applause. We did that, we did that round of applause. That's perfect. I'm no, y'all should. I need to clip that up for yep. sure. I'm gonna I approve that. Approve that. Can y'all give that a start briefing on y'all's uh, uh, programs and yeah, which y'all run uh, y'all people through? Yeah. So starting actually next year, 2023, we decided to run our 10 week workshop only four times out of the year. We okay. used to run it a whole lot more throughout the years, but right. we decided that it's, it is a very elite program that we have. Mm -hmm. We don't just want anybody in our program right. um, because we have a, a really good credibility. We have a 100% pass rate. Sweet. Yeah. So we want to keep that tight For like sure. that. So we run that course four times out of the year, pretty much every season. Mm -hmm. um, and that's live instruction, 10 weeks, um, top professionals in the industry yeah. teach our courses. Like top dog. Um, you get hands-on labs, over 5,000 plus hours of hands-on on labs, exams, other resources and videos that you need to kind of watch to kind of help you know, formulate yourself into a cyber analyst. Yeah, and real industry skill sets. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a master's in cybersecurity, and, and I teach cybersecurity also at NSU, and it was funny because I went to, um, like, an expo. It was, like, different professors, like, tenured PhDs, and I was talking to them about industry stuff. And they were clueless. Mm -hmm. It's from like all different universities. Yeah. And I'm just like, huh? Like you don't know them? Like what is that, Nate? Like they never heard of RMF. That's the theory. It's they the never. Theory. I was like, what are you? Like how? Yeah. But they're stuck in academia, and then like America, like we sell you this dream. You know, come 18, get 200k in student loan debt, mm -hmm. do all this stuff. You know what I mean? And then it's like I don't prepare you for the actual industry. Yep. And it sucks because like you see so many people fall victim to that. And then I start noticing a lot of like, you know, traditional methods. It's all theoretical. It's all philosophical. It's not like industry. So the beauty of it is like what we do, we actually are giving people like yeah. industry stuff. So things that you will not learn in school. And we've taken mm -hmm. our own experiences. Like yes. with us having the program on a weekend, mm -hmm. I did that as being a single mom. Cause I actually went to college to get my cyber mm -hmm. degree. Mm -hmm. Stupid debt, still paying for it. Mm -hmm. Didn't need a degree. But anyway, so you know, we have our program on the weekends for the working Work adult. Balance, right. So we kind of try to tailor that to folks because we know how bad, you know, you really want to try to get into a space, but just those limits and different yeah, things yeah, that you yeah. may have that pull you. So we did that. Um, we also have our career development advisor who kind of helps prep yeah. every single one of our students from the beginning of the program all the way until they sign that offer letter. Um, so they meet with them on a, on a uh, biweekly basis to make sure that they're gathering all the information, looking for jobs, all that type of stuff to properly prepare them. Outside of our live program, we also have on-demand courses. Mm -hmm. So say you don't want to sit in a live class, but you want to watch something more at your own pace. Mm -hmm. We also offer that to our students and you just complete the program at your own leisure. Um, and then if you want to get the certification, you still just reach out and we schedule for the certification. Um, I feel like I'm talking a lot, but with us being Pearson View um, certified, we now have the, uh, the ability to pretty much test anybody in our local area for any cert mm -hmm. that you need that needs to be tested at a site like that. Oh, okay. So not only tech do we cover, we'll cover <coughs> other estate, avenues as well, construction licenses yeah. and things like that. So, um, but other than that, I think that's pretty much the uniqueness of the program that we have for mm -hmm. getting folks into tech. And then um, outside of that, we do managed IT. Yep. services we do web development um, we have a couple of clients right now where we're working on a lot of websites um, for them um, 
We also work with a lot of healthcare industry, lawyers, and pretty much anybody who needs IT support yeah. or cyber. That's right. everywhere. Right. That's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what we are here for. We have we the might capabilities. Need that soon. We're going to go ahead and put that in the air. We're going to need that soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We well, all do the call. Absolutely. Best link. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, how, hey. many, how many people have y'all pushed into <clears throat> this workspace? 75. Mm-hmm. On what's, oh, on, let me any? drop some bombs for them, man. Damn. Hundred percent pass rate, by the way, yeah. as well. Everybody yeah. has a cert. Mm. You don't get that in college. You don't. We're cheaper than college. Oh, yeah. mm. Hold on. You don't get a cert in college. Yeah. You don't get someone helping you find a job in college. No. They'll give you resources. You got to figure it out. But you got to figure it out. When you graduate, you got to figure it out. There's no. I always <laughs> say there's no reason why you should major in computer science or any kind of cyber or anything and not come out of college with like a, your a three cert. basic. A plus security networking search. Yeah. There's no yeah. way you shouldn't it's, do that. But tell that's the world we live the in. The people, the guy at home right now. Yeah. He, he don't know what he want to do. Get up. You want to the best, the best things, <laughs> right? You want to tell him how life. lucrative. Yeah. Tell him how lucrative. <laughs> yeah. How can well, it change? Well, let's just say when I first got like? when I first got like? into tech, mm-hmm. I took a job making sixty five thousand. It was a help desk role, but I had a plan. For help desk, that's good. Help desk, it was good. I was in D.C. though. I was, I was living in Woodbridge. Oh. So Literally was, within six DC, months. So you was like, oh no. So within <laughs> six months, being a help desk, you got to do trouble tickets. So mm-hmm. there was a trouble ticket in the cybersecurity space. So I had to go up there, give like a, give someone a mouse, something stupid, right? Mm-hmm. And then I started seeing what they were doing in there in that environment. And then I ended up seeing someone in government who I was kind of like, hey, what do you do up in here? Let me find mm-hmm. out, you know. And then I kind of yeah. started. Was it a man or a woman? It was a man. Okay. Listen, that's... listen. You can be smart and still use certain things to your advantage. That's all I'm gonna say. And I will drop a box. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. I want to get context out here. I respect that. Yeah, and I I I use that when I need to. And I did because he saw I had interest. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. literally within that year, I was making sixty five thousand. At the end of that year, I was making one hundred ten thousand because I got myself in the cyberspace. It's all about who you talk to, who you know. Uh, (laughs) Say that. (laughs) It is all about who you talk to and who you know when you get in tech. uh, That's a hundred. That's in life, shit. Okay. Do y'all have any like success stories? Like, what's what's the most like y'all student that pops into y'all head? Oh, y'all it's like every one of them. Out? Yeah, we cannot. Uh, single that all was a political student. answer. So, it was. Yeah. We literally every cannot. Why? Yeah. But yeah. we really single. cannot yeah. because seventy five. But you know why? Because when we have our students literally text us, like y'all yeah. have no idea. Like I was not making this kind of money. It, like yeah. helping yeah. their marriages, no, that's, that's, where they're like, yeah. we're able to go yeah. on a trip now, no, and big, like that's big I, shit though. I can like, it is everyone, but I can like talk about at least. Three that come out them like instantly mm-hmm. come out. All right, one guy was enrolled in a master's program at a university, and he was like, "Man, he already had a master's in biology," and he was like, "Man, I'm trying to get into like you know cyber tech, whatever." And he heard about BLS, and he's like, "Look, man, what I need to do because this program is about to start. My master's program is about to start like next week." So he dropped it. So before late registration, so he can get charged, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Dropped it, did hours. Dang. He had a three-year-old daughter. A month into the program, he had a son. So now he has a newborn and a three-year-old. Mm. The last day of the program, he got laid off. Mm. It was 17 of them working in the lab. He got laid off. But in the back of his mind, like, you know, I got this cyber stuff. Mm-hmm. And he was testing that same day. Testing that cert. same day. At test day. The same day. So imagine having an exam, like, yo, that I just stress. got laid off and I'm about to take this test. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we prepare you. You don't fail. We prepare you for it. And then so he, a month later, he ended up getting a job with the DOD making 90000 And got a clearance. And a secret clearance now. Mm-hmm. Starting out. He had a conversation with me a month after that. He was like, dude. I still think about, I still would have been in that master's program yeah. with crazy mm-hmm. loan debt, yeah. with no industry certification, yeah. no secret clearance, mm-hmm. like nothing. Another guy that came after him, he got laid off two weeks before the program. Mm-hmm. This dude got a job, like, I think he got an offer two days after he got the cert, after he finished, making 120K. Mm. And that story is crazy. And then we have other people who just like, like Lena said, like help save people like marriages, help people financial save like financial situations, situations like single moms. Mm-hmm. Like it has really changed like the whole trajectory. And then we've seen some people in the program that got into the space. Now they're working. 
they got their brothers in there. They got their sisters in there. Mm-hmm. They got their cousins. They got their wives. We have a few people, like couples. Couples that actually came out with, like, careers now. They changed their whole family. Like, the, the husband and right. wife came into the program mm-hmm. together, and now they're working in tech together. That's dope. That's dope. All right, I'm going to ask a toxic question. Hell, <laughs> toxicity. <laughs> we all adults in here. <clears throat> and we see y'all. Good-looking people. Y'all ever had students, like, try y'all? Look. Nah. I don't oh, lie. Nate does question. <laughs> I ha- oh. Okay, okay. I'm going to bust out the news. I'm going to bust out the news now. So what people the don't news. know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what people it. don't know. People think I run the Best Link Strategies Instagram account. Oh, okay. They don't know that Nate and I both run it. Oh, so the DMs. The DMs <laughs> I see everything. <laughs> the level of inappropriate sometimes DMs that people think that is me. Let that me take it to lunch. Let me take it to lunch. And Nate and I over here like, did you see? Like screenshot like stupid stuff or I get emails like asking about like my feet I've gotten that before and I'm like wow so, so <laughs> but I can't the- say I can't say though <laughs> those folks never signed up yeah we, oh, we can pin it nah, out they we, nah, we can pin out that, that energy sense. really quickly they, never they weren't focused up. and yeah. honestly the, the benefit too of having a male partner is when I have those yeah. particular weirdos or weird people I can really be like yo Nate like you yeah, like, handle this one this guy's giving me like this guy's giving me weird vibes like please take it and they will handle it for me and I don't yeah. ever have to worry about talking to that Very person dope. or seeing so that's the good benefit too of us having that partnership Very dope. Right. Absolutely. yeah because yeah, yeah there's something else so yeah there. it is funny though because like on IG you can see oh, I'm not going to open it because we'll see I've seen it <laughs> but I just seen like yo this is crazy <laughs> and they think they talking <laughs> be crazy. people are crazy I'm going to make sure we're going to put the um, y'all website yeah. In the description. Yeah, We're going to put sure. your IG so people can follow y'all. Yes. Yeah, appreciate it. Wait, we'll put it back on me, brother. But no, before you even <laughs> I'm do that. I'm about to get my ECPI commercial on for you. Before, <laughs> but your big ECPI commercial, not only do it with our having the cyber school, we have many divisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we since we contract, here. we have also like a media division. So yep. people have a media company. If you know so. photographers or people that want to contract with us and work mm-hmm. with us, like reach out as well. Yeah, we do so. commercials, all that stuff. So yeah, we, have a we whole can media expand division. business. So. <laughs> Go and change your life. <laughs> You're not doing nothing. Right. <laughs> you watching YouTube. Yeah, having too much fun doing this, right? <laughs> Get I'm up and change it. your life today. But Call Bestling. Make that pivot. <laughs> I'm here for yeah, it. Yeah, make that pivot. All we right. all did.